is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I've made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. 
Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been? Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a Witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. 
All right, change the subject. Because you refuse to admit I'm right? Whatever. Fine. Stop being a smartass. Poor. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. It is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin, though, right? Yeah, unless you'd rather play strip quint. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pox is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game...